Before we start this video, just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. Blam! Episode 189. So am. My goodness, we're close. <clears throat> so, Mobile versus the Spear Master. The Spear on Grand Solan Master. Oh, we're just getting right into it. Alright. His fighting style kind of reminds me of Zul Quinn with the clones and stuff. Even with all the boost, he still has the advantage. Mm. Wow, he's using that? That means he's pretty... Damn. Nobody's doing really good though. I mean, you know, he's still getting help, but he's still not as oppressive as I thought it was going to be. Nice, 80, damn, damn, my boy. Nice, mobile's up there too, man. So Tenshin's about to fight him, fight the um, Lance dude now, the Spear dude now. Oh, 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 you have no idea. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, they're about to have like a dual um, spear versus spear kind of thing. No? Tank is just gonna finish it? Uh oh. Yeah, because I'm saying with that light thing that he just had, he could. I'm guessing that works on all of them, so, you know. And she's basically doing the same kind of test as. Okay, so good episode. Um, I I wouldn't say I fully of have the understanding of what Tangsen was saying about the um, God of the the light, the God of the sea light. Um, he said something about um, combining it with something else. And that's how he was able to predict what the spirit master, um, the Grand Soul Eye Master, was able to do. So can he do that against all of the masters on this specific island because of the light? Or was it just for him specifically? That's just the main thing I'm wondering. But aside from that, pretty smooth episode. Mobile is at level 80 now. You know, I mean, you're just you're getting closer and closer closer to that grand soul line master. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like the pacing because, like, a lot of people have said, like, the arc is long, and I get why some people don't like it because it's like it's not like story driven. It's like it's not. It's kind of repetitive in terms of we're doing tests and we're doing tests and we're doing tests, even though. They found different ways to make the test creative, but the story itself is kind of staying in one place right now. So I get why a lot of people are like, eh. but you know, I think it is necessary to see the you know a lot of stuff that's happening in this arc. So I don't mind. I'm enjoying it. But um, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you for the next reaction. Peace. Oh!